Hi guys! Okay, so I actually feel pretty angelic right now with the whole light coming out of my window. Ooh, it's got lighter. The whole light coming out of my window and stuff and it's beaming down on me and having this really soft glow, which is horrible for filming. But I have no other choice or option. So it's kind of there, so that's the whole light situation and that's why I look bright white around here. Um, this is a video, I'm not doing a favorites video this month because I feel like I pretty much use the same products over and over and over again. This year has not been a good year for new products at all for me. So I'm actually going to do a the products I regret buying 2012 because I actually didn't buy that many, to be honest. But there are quite a few, but like the ones I did buy, most of them I don't like, which sucks. And actually some of them are from years past and stuff and I just threw them in there because why not? <laughs> So, I'm just going to start by one thing that I'm loving. I'm loving red lips. You couldn't tell. My lips are gorgeous and vibrant red right now. And I adore them that way. I don't know why, but I'm just really digging them. If you want to see a tutorial on how... I'm probably going to do a tutorial on how to do red lips because they're really hard to do. And you have to be really careful when doing them. But I'm having a tutorial. If you really want to see that, comment below. But I'm most likely going to do a tutorial. So onto the not so favorites. The first one is this. It is the Stila Eye Silk Eye Wash in Kitten. And I got this a long time ago, but it's probably only two years ago. And I really thought it was a great idea at the time because I loved the kitten eyeshadow. It was gorgeous. It was too crumbly for me. Um, I didn't even buy it. Like I checked it out in the store and it'll just look too crumbly. So I thought, oh, they have it in an eye wash. This will be really cool because it's totally, like, I can put this in my bag and it'll be great. And it has, like, a wand, kind of like a lip gloss thing. And it'll be cool to apply to my eyelid and it'll be super quick in the morning. And I can just be like, Ch -ch 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 -ch, done. No. <laughs> this <laughs> was awful. First of all, when you put it in your eyelid, it takes forever to dry. Forever. You're just waiting like this for the longest time. And then it actually creases, usually. Then usually when it finally dries, it's all stiff on your eyelid. And then when you first open your eyes and you try to blink, they all stick, even though it's supposedly dry. And then you always have really harsh lines because it doesn't blend at all. At all. And then what was the other thing? There was another problem I had with it. Yeah, no, it just creased. Like, it all, as it would, on, would move into my creases. Even if I set it with a powder, I put... I primer on before it, it nothing would do would help it and it was awful and this is a gorgeous color too I was just so disappointed and the next thing are two palettes from Maybelline they were the smoky eye quads which you know I mean I thought genius idea right here this is gonna be great um because it tells you like I don't know if you can read it but it says lid crease brow bone yeah, brow and outer corner. It tells you exactly where to put everything, and then in case you can't read, it has a diagram on the back. So, I mean, I thought, great idea, you know, like, this will actually be perfect, because I just really like the colors and stuff, and for beginners, and, and for beginners, it would be amazing, because they could just look at it and know exactly where to put everything, and they'll get this really nice smoky eye, because smoky eyes are really hard to do. Um, no. <laughs> That was really disappointing. The colors were beautiful. The pigmentation is amazing. I actually use these two colors on any on a regular basis. Actually, you still use the colors. So, I guess it's not really a regret. Well, is it? No, I guess not. Like, it kind of is a regret. The colors look beautiful, and I use them on a day-to-day -day basis anyway. Like, I use them a lot, but I don't use them in the purpose that the package came in. Like, the product sucks. <laughs> Like, the product, the idea was great, the way it worked was not so good, because they were actually so dark. I know they look dark, I know they're supposed to be dark, because it's smoky eye. And I'm not really talking about this one, it's more this one that I had the problem with, and I'll address that soon. But, yeah, the colors worked really well, it was just, they didn't blend very well into each other. Yeah, this, that was my problem, that was my problem. Um, they didn't blend at all. When you put them on, you can't blend them. It's very hard to get the color on your eyelid. This one was more easy. This one, br the brown one, it was called Natural Smokes. Um, 
was a lot easier. And this was, I used, am I got amethyst smokes too, because I really like the colors. I had a really nice white, kind of sparkly black, and the purples. I thought I could make a really nice purple smoky eye. <laughs> These colors didn't go on well at all. This color right here, honestly, I would have to put it on, and then you would touch, okay, like, you would put on of your product on, you would touch your eyelid, there'd be, like, a nice amount of, like, product where you put it, and then when you tried to put it elsewhere on your eyelid, nothing came off the brush. Like, it wouldn't really go on your eye very easily, um, yeah, it wouldn't go on your eye very easily, the color distribution wasn't good, they wouldn't blend, it was awful. And, like, the idea was amazing, so it sucked. Um, next one is the Cover Girl... Smoky Shadow Blast, and everyone has think has done a video on how terrible this product is. It is an amazing idea. Like again, the products that suck, I find, often have the best ideas behind them, but then they rush to get it out on the shelves because oh, that's such a good idea, it's going to sell really well. So they don't do it very well. They don't make sure the product is good. They just make it really fast and then they spit it out there. So. It tells you know step one and step two kind of like the other one this one is like your brow bone inner corner and lid so it's really easy you know you can just go like that um and it's a beautiful color i liked this one this one i think this was the doesn't say i think it was bronze fire or something like that and then step two was this brown and that was just for your lid and then like lash lines only problem is these <laughs> my um brown one broke in like two days and it's so oily. Like, I think you can tell. Like, when I put it on my hand. Like, first of all, that color doesn't come out very well at all. Like, you can barely see it. So the pigmentation wasn't good. And then, um, I just think I wiped it on something. Oops. <laughs> the pigmentation wasn't very good at all. And then they broke, and they're oily. Because it's it's too creamy for your eyelid. Even when I put primer, like it saves a lot other one, when I put primer on it, and then I could put like a setting powder, it would not work, it will move straight into your creases, it creased really bad, I was really upset. And then, this was a really old product, just from the Hello Kitty MAC line, so long ago. I bought it, never used it, because I was like, oh, Hello Kitty, but it was like back when I first started using makeup, so I didn't really know what to do with it. And then, I started using it, and I don't know, this was the... Two Dolly palette, and the only colors I really used were yogurt, which is in its permanent line, so it's not really an additional one. So I could have just bought yogurt, and this turquoise, which is super dupable, super 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 dupable. Sounds fun. Okay, and then it comes with a really bright fuchsia, which isn't really like it looks kind of like a pur. If you look at it, kind of looks like a purpley fuchsia. It has blue undertones to it. It looks like a duochrome. No. No, no. No, it's not. It doesn't do that. No. It just comes out this bright pink. So the color doesn't distribute very well and it doesn't blend at all. And then this one, you know, looks like a really pretty, like, navy blue, black, lots of sparkles. When you put it on, no sparkles get onto your eyelid. None of them make it there. And again, it doesn't blend. And it was very disappointing because of the amount of money I paid for this. This was $40. $40. Expect better of you, man. Better of you. Okay, and on to lip products now. This was Revlon's Just Bitten Lip Stain and Balm. I actually loved the lip balm. It worked really well. I loved it. It really moisturized my lips. It was a high quality lip balm. The actual product, but like I didn't buy it for the lip balm, you know? I kind of bought it for the pretty color. It's to be a nice hot pink. It was beautiful when I first got it. It was dried out in like a month. That's a problem for me. <laughs> it dried out in a month. Like, you can still get some color out of it. But, like, it's supposed to be so much... I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there, that pink swatch. It's supposed to be so much brighter. When I first got it, it was, like, bright neon highlighter pink. It was a gorgeous color. And now it's, like, nothing. It just kind of looks like a bright pink, but it isn't. And when you first put it on, it starts working again. I'm like, yes! And then you finish your bottom up and you go to your top and there's none left. It just dried out and I was really disappointed in Revlon. But on that note, their Revlon lip balm stains where it's like, it's not a foul tip. It's pointy like a crown. It's really more, I don't know where mine is right now. I can't find it. 
but you know what it is. It's like pointy like a crayon and it's really moisturizing and it works beautifully. Now onto face. I didn't actually buy this product. I was given it by Sephora for being a beauty insider. And it's a smoothing primer so to smooth and mattify my face. Like it didn't make my skin oily or anything. I didn't change anything about it. It just didn't do any difference. I really wanted a matte face and it wasn't giving it to me at all. It didn't do any difference. So I'm happy I didn't pay for it. <laughs> Like, it's been disappointing. And my last non-favorite, my last regret, is the Clean and Clear Morning Glow um, SPF 15 Moisturizer. It says, moisturizes and instantly brightens my skin. It's oil-free. This didn't moisturize my skin at all. At all. And I have so much product left. Like, it kind of, it smells like sunscreen, which is good because then you know there's actually SPF in it. But it didn't moisturize my skin. If anything, when I put it on, my skin feels like oily even though it's oil free it feels a bit oily it feels when it, like when it all soaks in my skin looks flaky dry it's not a good product and worst of all when I said instantly brightens I thought you know I mean it made your skin pretty and like it would moisturize it and it would look healthy it has sparkles in it that's what it meant when it said instantly brighten it has like a sparkle like a built-in highlighter so I have to put it on all your on your face. It, you're, there's sparkles all over your face, which is great, but I kind of don't want that. I want to add sparkles if I want sparkles. I don't always want sparkles. And also, if you are dealing with problem skin right now, like I kind of am, except I have makeup on and you can't see it. If you have problem skin and you're dealing with acne, you don't really want to draw attention to that by adding sparkles. So that was just annoying. Anyway, that's the end of my unfavorites. If you see me in this sweater with the same makeup and hair on, it's because I'm filming a lot of videos today, and they're all going up in the next few days. So stay tuned. Bye.